assalamu alaikum in this lecture students we will learn about the leaf morphology its anatomy and different types of leaf and its modified form contents to be covered are what are the main uh, part of leaf what are the major types of leaf how is a leaf organized differences between the monocot and dicot leaves and uh, at the end we will discuss about the different types of specialized or modified leaf Uh, from this lecture our uh, students will understand the main parts and types of leaf will know about the anatomy of leaf and will able to differentiate between the monocot and dicot leaves and will also know about its modified form as we all know that leaves are the primary food producing organs of the plant and these are green because of the presence of photosynthetic pigment called chlorophyll and the leaves have a tiny pore or opening called stomata where the gases exchange take place there are several parts of leaf the first part is tip or apex this is the top part of the leaf it can be pointed round or smooth you can see in the picture the second part is the margin uh, it is the edge of the blade which we also call as the lamina this is quite specific to each species of the plant some are smooth to lobed or incised what is meant by incision when the margin of the simple leaf is cut into a number of connecting lobes or segment it is known as incision of leaf you can also um, see in the picture uh, pointed in red circle okay and the next part of the leaf is the midrib in which the central vein is running down the uh, center of the blade actually the veins contain the xylem and phloem of the plant they can be parallel in case of monocot and a netted arrangement in case of dicot the blade is the main collecting structure of the leaf and has a large broad surface the next part is the petiole which is uh, also known as the leaf stem it does not exactly like the stem but it does hold the xylem and phloem and it keeps the blade away from the stem sometimes leaves uh, are missing the petiole and is directly attached to the stem and such leaf is called a sessile at the end and there is a base a base is found at the bottom of the blade like the apex it can be round heart shaped uh, flat etc okay students uh, let's revise the different parts of leaf the upper part is the tip and apex then margin then midrib then veins base petiole blade or lamina okay and before explaining the major types of leaves students first learn about the phyllotaxy so phyllotaxy is the pattern of arrangement of leaf or stem plants show three types of phyllotaxy alternate opposite and work there are two broad categories of leaves simple and compound leaves which are further classified into different groups based on their shape their size their arrangement of stem leaves of flowering and non flowering plant and various other physical attributes simple leaves spring a simple leaf is a single leaf okay there is never divided into smaller leaflet units or no subdivision of leaf It is always attached to a twig by its stem or the petiole. Examples are the leaf of black cherry, guava, mango, etc. When the blade is divided into three or more sections, it is said to be compound leaf. Okay, or a compound leaf is a leaf made up of two or more leaflets. In a compound leaf, friends, the midrib of the leaf is branched into different leaflets. Okay, and is connected. Uh, by a single petiole students if you want to know whether the leaf is simple or compound first you will observe a bud node at the base of petiole attached to the stem and in case of compound leaf you should expect a bud node at the base of each petiole but no bud node at the base of each leaflet okay on the midrib and the ribs of the compound leaf the example are the leaves of neem rose and pea etc 
so there are many different kinds of compound leaves let's discuss it one by one okay uh, first type of the compound leaf is pinnately compound leaves so first discuss about the pinnate a compound leaf that has an axis on each side of the midrib is known as pinnate leaf the unipinnate the leaf with leaflet on each side of the axis for example cashew Unipinnate is further divided into two types of uh, leaf that is peripinnate and imperipinnate. Students, in some cases, the leaflets are of even number since all of them are developing pairs. You can see in the picture. Such a unipinnate compound leaf is called peripinnate, as in case of tamarind. In some cases, students, the leaflets are in odd number. Remember, since the lower leaflets are arranged in pairs, but the terminal leaflet remains single, as you can see in the picture. Such leaves are called imperipinnate, for example, in case of rose, pea, etc. The next type of the leaf is bipinnate. When the main brackets give rise to secondary axis, as you can see in the lower left picture, and the leaflets are born on them, the leaves become tripinnate and is described as bipinnate compound leaf. For example, acacia. Okay, the other type of pinnately compound leaf is tripinnate. A tertiary axis bearing leaflet emerging from the secondary axis. You can see in the lower left picture. For example, moringa. In case of decompound leaf with more than three pinnate, or when the leaf is more than thrice pinnate, it is called as decompound leaf. For example, leaves of coriander. Okay, the other type of the compound leaf is palmately compound leaf. In a palmately compound leaf, the leaflets are developed from a common point, that is, from the tip of the rachis and are radiated in a different direction, like fingers of a paw. In palmately compound leaf, string, each leaflet is a part of individual leaf. Okay, this may leave to confusion between the palmately compound leaf and a simple leaf arrangement. But remember students, palmately compound leaves do not have brackets, okay, as each palmate branches out directly from the petiole. Furthermore, this arrangement can be classified into unifoliate, bifoliate, trifoliate, and quadrifoliate. So let's discuss about the unifoliate compound leaf. These leaves contain a simple leaf blade, you can see in the picture, as a normal leaf with a wing video, for example, citrus, lemon or citrus. The next type of the compound leaf is a bifoliate. These leaves will contain two leaf blades attached with the video at a single point, uh, for example, bohemia in the lower <coughs> right picture. Okay, the other type of palmately compound leaf are trifoliate. In this case, and three leaves are originated from the anterior end of the petiole, for example, floor leaf. Uh, in case of um, quarter foliate, the numbers of leaflets are four, for example, marsilia, you can see in the picture. When more than four leaflets are attached to the petiole to form a single leaf, it is called as multifoliate. Palmately compound leaf, for example, Baoba and Emdriva fan. Okay, wings of flowering plants are found in several patterns. Most patterns can be categorized into two main groups parallel wing and netted wings. Parallel wings found in monopods, none of the wings on the whole leaf will cross each other. It may look like they fuse together at the top and bottom of the blade. Netted wings are found in the dicots. They connect and branch from each other. Some have several small veins branching out of a dominant midrib known as pinately netted. In case of oak, other leaves have several uh, dominant veins branching from the petiole known as palmately netted. In case of ma maple leaves, a few have a spreading veins pattern called dichotomous veneation. Uh, for example, uh, leaves of ginkgo biloba. Uh, 